Here you go. Here you go. There, there you go. That's what winning tastes like. What does it taste like? I wouldn't know. Dang it. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Steve's Dang It's. I'm Steve. That's producer Drew, who is an Avalanche fan. And because the Avalanche beat the Leafs, I am having a bad time. Which is weird. I was so nice to you when the Leafs beat the Avs the other week. I was not. Our first Dang It, I tweeted out as soon as it happened. Slam dunk Dang It. Here it is. Take it away. <laughs> Spencer tees it up, his stick breaks it, got to the goal, Hyman couldn't get to it. Spencer trying to hold it in at the line, trouble, now he got pressed up and rally. Here's a chance, Mishuskin scores! Valerie Mishuskin with a short-handed goal. Mason Spencer here, he, he has a broken stick, now he thinks he's going to keep the puck in but he gets crossed up with Riley and that creates the breakaway and Nikishkin with a beautiful shot I mean he makes no mistake on that play after the miscue at the blue line by the Toronto Maple Leafs and Nikishkin with a big time goal what is you doing baby I don't even know what's going on here Jason Spezza okay his stick broke shucks that happens what is this then? What's the, t the tea kettle thing? This is my handle, this is my spout looking. What are you doing? Now, if you look at the play, oh yeah, sh Drew, yeah, for sure. Show as many angles as you want. If you look at it, it, there might be a miscommunication with Morgan Riley, who, Morgan Riley looks ridiculous too. He's like daintily fishing for it, like, oh, I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna. But Spezza doing the, the lost child in a mall, I'm just gonna stand here and wait for an adult stance. Meanwhile, Valerie Nachushkin is just like, yoink, and takes it for a shorthanded break away you are welcome drew by the way valerie nachuskin the choo-choo train hadn't scored an nhl goal since 2016 until he scored against the leafs the first game that the avalanche played the leafs in he scores in this one too and now he's on fire now he's the 10th overall pick that the dallas stars thought they were getting except he's not a dallas star he's a member of the colorado avalanche making drew very happy and that makes me sad but it's okay, Spezza made up for it. He scored the next game. Wouldn't have done that with me. It would have been the last game of his career. Why don't you go on a podcast and talk about that there, Jason? Ooh, ooh, that was a dang it. it go ahead, show it again. Show it again. Jason Spezza here, he, he has a broken stick. Now he thinks he's gonna keep the puck in, but he gets crossed up with Riley and that creates the breakaway. And... Can I stop hurting? Our next dang it is a little bit more run of the mill. No random broken stick at the offensive blue line and then stand into a scarecrow impression. This is a dang it's classic. A goalie playing the puck at all. It's usually a goalie getting pressured into a split second decision sort of situation, but this is Carter Hart just sort of not doing anything. Show it. How do you get it to Faust? It wasn't there. Cleared all the way down. Drew tried to break his stick in half after that pass attempt to Morgan Frost, but he frustrated. What happened here? And they score! Gostas, Barrett, Hart got their signals crossed. Duclair scores, and it's a 2-2 game. Wow. What a turn of events here. And on the four check, Carter Hart casually looking for someone to give that puck to. Believes he's going to sh shield it from... Duclair and give it to Gostisbehere. And Duclair wraps it around. It actually goes off the pad of Carter Hart and through his legs. What is going on? And that tied the game. Anthony Duclair. I do Duclair. He was the first ever uh, Dang It's video, wasn't he? Drew shaking his head. He was the first ever Hat Picks video. Whatever. Dang it. Count the Mississippis Carter Hart has this puck. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Do something! Might not even be long enough. For Anthony Duclair, the goals have not always come easy, but they seem to be coming easier this year and none easier than that one. Carter Hart, baby. Dang it. And another goalie misplaying the puck. Um, sometimes, I mean, look at the score. You just have a bad, ungood, very unfun game. And this was game unfun game there it is there's my adult voice uh, Aaron Dell I'll just let you do it stamp comes now with Dell waiting and that puck does enter the trapezoid it's stolen here stamp goes across they score Johnson tic-tac-toe and for Hagee and stamp goes five nothing a 
the net over Jones, but he gets his pocket picked here. He's a little too slow. The forecheck there is outstanding. He got to hand it to Verhage. Verhage's hustled and had a really good game here. And he hangs on. See that little hesitation there? Ah, dang it. You know what? You often see the goalie give it away. You don't often see a stick lift on a goalie, but Carter Verhage sure did it on this one. Carter Verhage, you got to give him credit. That guy has really turned his career around. As soon as they said his name, Drew was like, who the heck are you even talking about? Leaf fans know. He was a draft pick of theirs with decent junior numbers, but he didn't really look like he was going to put it together at the NHL level. He was thrown together. He was one of five players thrown together for Michael Grabner in a Leafs Islanders trade back in the day. He put up cartoony numbers in the American Hockey League recently, enough to make people go, uh, he should probably be in the NHL. Yes, he should be, said the Tampa Bay Lightning, and then he does this. Maybe I'm giving a bit too much praise to a guy who all he had to do was steal it off the goalie who was sleeping. So it's hat pick esque for Carter Verhage, but ooh, that is a, yeah, a dang it big time for Aaron Dell. Aaron dang it in this situation. Drew is shaking his head and shouldn't be the truth. Sticking with the theme, I suppose we're going to end on a goalie dang it. Here's Peter Morazic playing the puck, delete, delete, getting in Joe Thornton's face. Oh, Morazic makes the save and takes a swipe at Joe Thornton, who left. Levels, Morozik! First and foremost, you hope that Morozik is okay. Totally atypical if you know his personality. The most important element is head trainer Doug Bennett comes out to attend to Morozik. Any sign of an issue, does Peter Morozik have to go through protocol in the locker room as a goaltender? Boy, he went right to the throat. Peter did not embellish this thing at all. I mean, he, there's no way that you would ever think this is coming from Joe Thornton. Goes right down, and Dougie Bennett now has to assess. If he's all right. Carolina. Number 34, minor penalty for slashing. San Jose, number 19. Minor penalty for slashing, two minute minor roughing. Oh, 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 dang it, dude, show that again. Any sign of an issue, does Peter Morozik have to go through protocol in the locker room as a goaltender? Boy, he went right to the throat. Peter did not embellish this thing at all. I mean, he, there's no way that you would ever think this is coming. Oh man, you know, Peter Morazic has always had a lot of personality. He he is the stereotypical goalie, not not the stoic one. You know, the guy who loses his mind, basically. And this, I've alluded to this a few times in videos, Jordan Bennington getting in guys' faces. He's gotta watch it because he might do what Morazic just did here. As a goalie, I don't mind if you stick up for yourself. I don't even mind if you get in someone's face. Just know that if you get in someone's face, they might clock you in yours. You can do it to some guys. Joe Thornton ain't that one. <laughs> they call him Jumbo for a reason. At least Mrazek and the Hurricanes got to have some fun at the end of it. Uh, this was their practice immediately afterward. If you're getting punched in the face by your enemies and goofed on by your teammates, that's a dang it. Producer Drew just said that it probably wouldn't hurt because he's wearing a mask. Yeah, that's how it works, for sure. That's why when a goalie gets hit in the mask, he's always like, ha-ha, that tickled. <laughs> Which one of us never played hockey? I, I have more experience getting hit in the head. I mean, that, that is true, that is true. What is the over-under on the Carolina Hurricanes having some sort of storm surge where Peter Mrazek gets punched in the face by the end of the season? It's gonna happen, you know that, right? Like, if he gets a shutout, he's gotta be the center of attention, and then they don't do the Star Wars thing, they do the punch in the face. Drew didn't like the Star Wars thing. Okay, boomer. Oh, oh you didn't like the execution. So you're not calling them nerds, you're being nerdier by saying their sword work wasn't good enough. I get it, it wasn't stage quality. Drew does this remotely from his mom's basement. Oh! Hey, you're right, it does feel good to be on the other end of that. <laughs> Where were we again? Oh right, here, show him getting punched in the head again. Protocol in the locker room as a goaltender. Boy, he went right to the throat. Peter did not embellish this thing at all. I mean, he, there's no way that you would ever think this is coming. Dang it. So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment in the comment box down below. What are some of the dangits that we forgot this week? Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends not to get in Joe Thornton's face. He ain't the one.